Welcome to episode two of Let's Get Inspired, a YouTube series dedicated to sharing stories, plugins, unique art, and music production tricks to help you get your creative ideas out of your head and into the real world. I know it encompasses a lot, but I just wanted to give myself an opportunity to talk about stuff that isn't just Ableton related. The not Ableton related thing that I wanna talk about today is Dean Hurley. Have you heard of Dean Hurley? Do you know who I'm talking about? If you're a fan of David Lynch, you've heard Dean Hurley's music. Dean Hurley is a frequent collaborator with David Lynch. Dean's probably best known for his sound design and scoring work on season three of Twin Peaks, for which he was nominated twice for a primetime Emmy Award. I don't know if it's his connection to David Lynch, but something about this guy just scratches that creative itch. Just, I feel enlightened when I listen to his work. I've always been a fan of cinematic stuff. Used to be really into the Saw movie soundtracks by Charlie Clauser. Just a strange mix of deep, dark sound design textures with like ambient drone music with random like breakbeat moments. I don't know. The feelings he would conjure with his music are, at least for me, what brought the first three Saw movies to the next level. Um, eventually it got played out because they made fucking way too many of them but those first three saw movies the vibes are just absolutely insane and even when i was you know a kid i used to just i loved going into these worlds because of the music alone and i would say dean hurley is like my adult version of that same enjoyment of dark and dank atmospheric music my favorite album by him at the moment is concrete feather if somebody were to ask me what the Dean Hurley sound is, this is what I would recommend they listen to. This album has it all. Moody soundscapes, some kind of 80s synth pop, washed out thing going on, but also really solid low end with a like a fat fucking bottom. I don't know how to explain it. And this insane low end doesn't really come into play until three tracks in on the album. There's a hint of it during World War Three when the harsh square synthy sounds come in but by the time track four called concrete dub hits it's just an absolute hypnotic masterpiece of crunchy beautiful heavy lows while maintaining like beautiful mids it's just it's it's a the song is a delight to listen to it literally tickles my eardrums when i hear it the only other artist i can think of that's active right now that is getting this same really beautiful sounding low end is one pound if you want to hear this crunchy delicious low end in full effect listen to any one pound project but specifically i would recommend run that aside from his excellent mixing skills Dean Hurley also, to me at least, seems to be like the type of artist that audiophiles really dig. I feel like his music still sounds good if you're listening to it on a not so high-end sound system. Like I just listen on my Rockets or in the car or on my Audio-Technica headphones. But it seems to me like if you have a super duper high-end stereo system with like a nice sub and a really nice quiet room to listen in, these songs literally will transport you into space. There's a video on YouTube, which I'll link in the description, which features some interviews with him, which are rare. Interviews with Dean Hurley, definitely rare. Um, but you can see in the background this setup that he has. There's also a screen in between the two speakers, so I imagine this is where he does his scoring work. But to me, that looks like a very high-end setup, carpeted room, nice quiet sound. One can only imagine what kind of music you'd get into making if you're just spoiled to a sound system like that all the time. Another thing about his music that I find very provoking and beautiful is the balance it displays between light and dark. If you're a follower or fan of David Lynch, you know that the guy is practically obsessed with this inherent balance that light and darkness provides storytelling. I think some of his works are commentaries about what can happen when there's an imbalance between light and darkness, right? And I think Dean Hurley, being an understudy of David Lynch, has inherently picked up on this balance and implements it into the music that he makes, whether it's with David or on his own, like in the case of Concrete Feather. There's an extreme dark foreboding nature to his music that doesn't dwell for too long, you know, to get like depressing. It's still a little bit sad and melancholy, but it's not depressing, it's not morbid. At the same time, the happier moments aren't overly happy or, you know, overly joyous or celebratory to the point where you just wanna fucking knock them out. Dean Hurley seems to me like an artist's artist. It wouldn't be quite fair to say he doesn't have a following because 
Twin Peaks, uh, especially the third season, does have a following. And this following is aware of Dean Hurley and likes his music very much. But he seems, like I said, to be kind of an artist's artist, specializing in high-end, gloomy, soundtrack-adjacent, experimental, ambient, down-tempo, electronic sludge. And I can't get enough. He also just released a new project with another musician called Romance, who I am getting into. Romance seems to be a bit more drawn out, far more ambient, but the emotions are all still very much intact. So check out Romance too. And yeah, that's why I'm kind of obsessed with Dean Hurley right now. And he's inspiring me a lot to work on my sound, refine my mix, and experiment more. I don't know if you could tell, but throughout this video, I've been getting more and more disheveled because I've been recording this over the span of like a day. Thank you for stopping by and enjoying another episode of Let's Get Inspired. Busy times right now. But I got a bunch of new singles coming out soon, some remixes with some homies. 2023 is going to be another delightful musical year. And I uh, hope to have you along for the ride. So thanks for stopping by. Subscribe if you haven't, if you if you want to. We're, we're very close to 1,000 subscribers. Um, check out my Patreon if you want. And yeah, hit me up and let's talk about some music, okay? Okay, goodbye.